All right, let's talk about PID. First of all, PID is first invented at 1922 by Nicolas Mirovsky, a French um, scientist. On his paper titled Directional Stability of Automatically Steered Bodies. And in that paper, he described the control architecture that is a function of error between the command and the system output. And that control ar architecture has the proportional term, integral term, and the derivative term. And then it became famous, and right now this is this PID is one of the standards in industry and used in many applications. So let's talk briefly about the PID. Let's say you have a system that you would like to control. You are closing the loop. So the first term is the proportional term, P. So in this case, error is multiplied by a gain, uh, KP. And we're going to discuss the effect of this proportional gain. The second term is the integral. You integrate the error and multiply it by the second gain, ki. Because of this integral, this is the i part of the PID. And the third one is the derivative term. You are taking the derivative of error multiplied by the kd. And we're going to discuss all ki and kd's effect on systems reaction, which is what I mean by reaction within the context of PID is rise time, overshoot, steady state error, and setting time. We're going to discuss all of these. Before I start, I know PID is popular, especially we teach it at the undergraduate level. And um, we should understand advantages and disadvantages of this controller. When we should use it, when should we avoid it? First of all, it is easy to implement, right? It has just three parameters. You need to choose three gains and implement. Easy to understand. Again, what I mean by understand, what is the effect of gains to this rise time or reaction, overshoot steady state error and settling time. When I describe this in this video, you are going to understand if you don't know it. It generally works for low order linear systems. First order, second order, third order, maybe fourth order, but there is a limitation. And because of the integral term, it has inherent robustness to disturbances or constant or slowly varying disturbances. And if it is tuned well, it also have, has some robustness to changes in plant parameters, if it is tuned well. All right, disadvantages or when should we avoid PID? If you have high order linear systems, you should use more advanced controllers. There is no guarantee that PID will work. Likewise, time varying systems, likewise nonlinear systems. What I mean by nonlinear, if you are operating a nonlinear system around a specific equilibrium point, and if this specific equilibrium point has low order, linear it can be represented by a low order linear system then it may work but if you want to operate a nonlinear system over its full spectrum pid may not be the best choice and finally if your system has significant time delays or constable time delays pid may not work all right first um, let's understand kp's effect if you increase this gain Kp from zero to some number, since it directly multiplies the error, control hits harder to the system. It helps system to react quickly, so you are going to have a better rise time. So reaction is quicker. Now, since you are hitting the system, it has the tendency to increase overshoot, or if your system doesn't make overshoot, it can start, it, it may start making overshoot as you increase Kp. So increase. Since as you increase Kp more and more, you are going to see that your state state error, the error between command and the output will get uh, close to each other. So it will reduce state state error. And settling time 
it really doesn't have much change to the settling time. Yes, it, it will make the system react faster. Let's say time y of t. Let's say, you know, I am making it up. Let's say kp is 5. It behaves like this. As you increase kp more, then it will react quicker, but due to these oscillations, let's say this is kp equals to 50, some numbers that I made up. So because of also oscillation will increase, although reaction increases, but because of the oscillations, you know, settling time does not change much. So. not much change. Now, initially, you should set ki to 0, kt, kd to 0, and increase kp. And once you obtain a quick time, don't worry much about the overshoot. We are going to kill the overshoots uh, by the derivative term. And we are going to you know, reduce further or eliminate the steady state error with the ki term. So do not uh, deal with this much. With KP, obtain a nice rise time, quick reaction. Then we're going to correct overshoot and steady state error by choosing KI and KD. So aim in tuning KP should be to get you know, quick rise time or reaction. Then KI, uh, since it integrates the error, this helps to reduce or eliminate the steady state error. Reduce further or eliminate. That's the main purpose of PI term, inter KI term. Now, system will react more quickly. And because of the nature of the integral, you may see more oscillations and more overshoots, so it increases. Once again, I am not very worried about increase. We are going to eliminate those oscillations by introducing the KD term. So it is not an issue. And settling time, since it increases oscillations and overshoots, settling time may increase as well. And the KD term, KD is like, since you are taking the derivative, the slope, it is kind of prediction of the future error. Because of this feature, um, derivative term adds damping to the system, and this damping decreases the overshoot and reduces oscillations. Does not much change the reaction time. Steady state error does not change much the steady state error. Actually, almost no change. Settling time, it can, since it kills the oscillations, I will explain this in this figure, it also reduces the settling time. So, and these are the benefits. So to overview, again, you know, when you, when you are choosing KP, KI, and KD, initially set KI to KD to zero and start increasing KP. Once you are satisfied with the fast rise time or quick reaction, stop it. Yes, you may have oscillations. You may not have a good steady state error. That's okay. Then keep it constant, move into the Ki. Increase Ki uh, to eliminate or reduce further the state state error. Once you are satisfied with it, you, you can get perfect tracking, zero state state error. Stop. You may have more oscillations, that's okay. Then move to the Kd. Reaction, it won't contribute. Increase it until you reduce the overshoot and then you are done and you may tweak kp k 
KIKD later a little bit, but this is the general guidelines. Now, as this being said, if your error contains significant measurement noise, differentiating it like this may not be the best choice. So in MATLAB or Simulink or by yourself, you may uh, use filtered uh, differentiation. First filter the error with a low pass filter having enough bandwidth and then differentiate. This is how you should do in practice. All right, so this is what I mean by first tuning P. So now, for example, the dotted line is the comment that we would like to track, in this case constant. Let's say when you first set Ki0, Kd0 and start increasing Kp, let's say you are satisfied with this response only with proportional controller. Price time around, say, I don't know, one second. This really depends on the system. If you are, uh, you know, controlling a fast system versus slow system. So for the purpose of this discussion, let's say one second, it is a nice, you know, um, quick reaction. And then at Ki, so that now you are looking at Kp and Ki, you are looking Pi controller. And when you put Ki in this case, it eliminates the steady state error, but you are going to see more oscillations. That's why the settling time may increase a little bit as compared to P only. Then finally at Kd, increase the derivative term, Kd term, such that you are getting a smooth response, no oscillations. And since you eliminate oscillations, your settling time decreases, um, reduces significantly. All right, I hope you find this video helpful. If you want, you know, me to simulate something, maybe at a numerical study about PID, let me know. We can go from there.